What is up? Whammo here. And this is Cold Stream. It's not the first map. I know that. I'm not that dense to not know that, but it, uh, I didn't start the demo too late, and I sincerely apologize for that. But, you know, it's, it's a good game, and I didn't realize that uh, it was going to be as close as it was until we got to the second round. Um, right now, it's only about... It's close. It's, it's within 100 points of each other, and it has been a good game. We are... I am playing with, not my normal team, I'm playing with uh, friends of mine, some very, very good friends of mine, uh, Jester, Hollywood, Joe Barr, uh, the people by those names. They're all extremely strong players. And, uh, yeah, it makes for an extremely interesting game. Especially when you have a new map like this that everybody hasn't played the crap out of and learned every single spawn on. Now, we're expecting the boomer to come from above this overpass because it almost always does. No, there is a charger there instead, able to pump a few rounds in him before he lands. Gonna clean him up nicely, and there comes that boomer. Gonna get cleared, only booming me, thankfully. Rolling out, you do take tons of horde on this map. Tons and tons of horde. I mean, that is one thing that I've noticed about this one. It's just a very, very horde-heavy map. And the mudmen on this map, with with all the bad rocks and shit that you can't walk on, Plus the mud, man. I mean, it's just, it's, you can't move sometimes and it's very frustrating. But yeah, moving up here. Going to make it pretty much all the way to the tank before we take another attack, probably. So the tank will spawn just up here, right when the screen starts shaking by these, uh, by the, uh, well, what I call penis rock up here. There's the screen shake. There's the charge back. They know we're going to be pushing back for this. Charge from the back. Boomer from the front. Boomer does miss. I get out of the way just in time. Thankfully. We're going to clean up that attack nicely. Hunter going for a damage pounds. I couldn't tell you how much it landed for. Not a lot. Uh, now that tank is just going to bring that rock. We're just going to keep pushing backwards. I uh, need to be careful of these little pebbles in the stream that stop you up. and Not jumping on rocks because you, you will get stuck if you jump in between rocks too much because that's just the way this mop it, this map is modeled this mop is metal <laughs> it's just it's it's so rough there's no uh it doesn't seem like there's been any testing of that kind of stuff i mean that, you, that would be the first thing that i would look for is getting stuck and i would start fixing geometry but apparently that's not what happened smoke in the front jockey in the back jockey does get stuck in that little hole there and that rock didn't down anyone Unbelievable that that rock didn't down anyone. I'm gonna try and clean up the smoke before I deal with the rock or the tank, whatever's over here. Looks like it is the tank in that bush hitting the rock. Gonna down horde. Hollywood tries to get him up there real quick, but it's just not gonna happen. That rock is gonna kill him. Now the rock is over on the other side of Penis Rock here. I am out of ammo completely. This tank is going very, very badly. Uh, we're getting a little too split up. We're taking a lot of horde. I think maybe because we bowed that tank. Getting hit, got kind of a bad hit there. He's sliding up the rock, falling back down, and then getting hit by the rock. Kind of a funny little hit there. That tank has to be close. I'm willing to bet he's a fourth hell, if not less. But yeah, we got destroyed right there. Maybe split up a little too much, and probably should not have biled. I think that may have been the uh, downfall right there, is using that bile. But uh, hey, you know, whatever. This is, this is kind of a short game, I guess, so I might be able to get it all into one video. I don't know. Kind of curious to see if I can. Oh, one thing I was going to ask you guys, and I just remembered this. If, if you're watching these videos, um, let me know if you watch them at the 720p, or if you want me to go back to 1080p. I mean, I, I certainly can up the resolution again. I can bring it back up to full resolution, the 1080p quality. I just don't feel like anybody watches it at that quality. I mean, it just it makes my uploads so much bigger, and it's it's a lot more manageable to do it at 720p. I'm, if you even watch it at 720p, I'm, maybe you do it at 480. In which case, I need to explaining what people are typing and stuff. Which I hope you watch it at 720, and I make them so that they can be uh, best watched at that resolution. You know, I kind of worked on the compression a little bit and make it, you know, just right. So you know, if just tell me what resolution you watch it at, so I can. Uh, you know, kind of cater towards my general viewing base, which is only like 20 people, so I thank you 20 people, and I just want to know what you, uh, what resolution you watched at. So let me know in the comments section, even if you don't, uh, even if you don't normally, you know, post in there. We do get a good boom from the front, they're able to distract a little bit with that jockey before that goes off, enabling it. 
We do get a jockey for it. I think the chargeback may have missed. Yes, it did. That charge is going to track for a few scratches, but he doesn't get anything major, I don't think. I'm going to clean up this horde while sitting inside the tunnel now. Not a huge issue. Probably going to push all the way up to the tank spawn now. I'm going to look for this boom when they're running backwards. Uh, that is my goal here. I have all the infected here that can uh, distract for me. Which is what I need to be waiting for is my distractions to boom. Trying to get something tricky behind this rock. Tank is not triggered yet. They haven't pushed up quite far enough yet. They're just cleaning up all the last little bits of remaining horde. And they're getting spawn blocked. I know I'm not going to be able to spawn there, so I have to back up a little bit. There's the tank trigger. They're all sitting on rocks when they do that to prevent the spawns. Jockey does come in. Might enable me to get a boom here. Able to get just one. Just one there. It's okay. It will call the horde that we need. Hopefully. The tank is pushing in now. Chasing with that rock. A good hit on that rock. That launched that thing further than I've ever seen it go, I think. Keeping the rock chasing. I chase and I chase him with that rock. He wants to use his infected support here. I mean, you have to have to use your infected support. Able to hit Jess with that rock. Very nice hit there. Now I'm looking for some kind of crazy spawn on this guy who's separated, but I don't think it's going to happen. Where's the spawn? Might be able to pull something out of that rock, but no, he does land it on Sad Bear there. A beautiful rock. Almost getting a pull on Joe with the tank. Cuts my tongue and then pulling again when I don't have a tongue. Kind of a fail on my part there, but that rock has just done so much damage. I do have a jockey in charge You're looking for a shell there on that rock. Finally able to get that. There goes the rock. Oh, that was close. There, the jockey into the rock. Very nice. Now Nick is all by himself. He's probably going to rush forward for points, but look at that. He gets stuck. Stuck on this Aaron geometry. I mean, that's just uh, so crappy to have that happen when you're trying to rush. Uh, we were all in vent at the time, and I remember laughing at that. Just the, the conversation that was going on at that time was hilarious. And then I get stuck on the charger trying to bounce out of here. There we go. Oh, maybe not. Almost able to get on it. Getting hit by the tank first. But yeah, that's, that's the end of that round. <laughs> So, yeah, we both wipe each other with that tank. That's okay. I mean, that's that's what makes the games fun when you do stupid crap like that. It makes it you know, all that much more better. Much more, much more better. Hmm. hmm. Stick with me through the next round here. We'll uh, go through this whole game probably in one video. Round two. Or I guess this would be three because I didn't technically record the first round. So, again, I apologize for that. Uh, the point difference isn't notable. It's, it's still very close. Still very, very close. We need to be cautious here. This is... Uh, every time that I've played this, something bad has happened right here. So it's it's a problematic spot with the smoke charge combinations. As can be said about any death charge area, I guess. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen this time. No? Where's that charger at? Where is Mr. Charger? There is a witch up there. At the very top of the stairs, I imagine. Going up by himself. We do have a couple people down here to pick and clear. There goes a charger from up top. Looks like he spawned by the broken edge area right here. Along with the boomer. Horde has made, or Hollywood has made it all the way around that corner, so the charger can't do anything. I'm not going to rush up these stairs because the charger can just run by him. I mean, I've seen it happen before. There's the charger hitting the geometry on the side of the stairs. Very, very lucky for us, I think. And now there is a witch up here that's probably going to push up and try and crown. Security zombies here. It seems like they picked the most annoying fucking zombies to be in this campaign. There's the witch going to crown that with ease. Wandering witches are not a big deal. Pills in a med packet right next to the drop point. That's kind of... Uh, 
curious, tempting you to wander into the uh, the insta death spot. Moving on up. There's really not catching an attack right here. Hmm. Might not be up for an attack yet. There's a hunter in for some reason. There's got to be a reason that hunter's there. Distracting for what? Boomer. Which is off to the right. There it is. That's hunter still up front. Need to clear that. There he gets on Hollywood there. Spitter is up on the right somewhere behind that truck. Missing the spit, just barely. Looking for that spitter. Might be able to clear it, yes, before it gets off the edge. There goes this explosion. Very nice. I'm thinking I should rush this and I stop and consider what my team might be doing. It's like, well, sh should I rush this? Or, uh, we know that they have a couple of infected up right now. They have been cycling in order to get what they want right here. So, uh, we have to be kind of cautious. Hollywood, how did he do that? He, like, tried to jump on the car or some shit. That's going to, uh, leave only two of us up. I'm kind of backing up because I do not want to get charged right there. I heard that charger, you know. Oh, not good at all. But Hollywood, I think, somehow ended up back on his feet. Crazy map bugs. Oh, I need to not shoot that boomer. Okay, where I can shoot it. We still have Horde hanging. Saturn is on very, very low health. I don't know why I took those pills, whatever. Coming across the gap, I'm trying to spawn blockers with my goal here. But uh, in reality, they're probably going to spawn on the other side. Probably should have an attack in right now. We should be seeing some kind of attack right here. There was a jack in the other side of the little drop point there. Cleaning up the horde best, like, the best I can. I probably should just get on top of this uh, police car. Running out of ammo right there. Rut row. Ooh, there's a charger spawn right there. I'm gonna just rush him. Because uh, that's what you want to do when a charger spawns. Ooh, that was the second hit. He should have died. Oh, there he went. <laughs> Beating that charger's dead body. Um... When a charger spawns in an area like this and you know where the charger spawn is, sometimes it is a better option to rush him because chargers will not do anything in close proximity aside from scratch you. They want that medium range, that medium to short range in order to charge you, which is why I like to close it to uh, point blank. Falling a little bit and then catching on that ladder again. <laughs> so close. Almost as bad. If nothing else will help. You cannot shoot through this crappy freaking bad ground geometry here. They need to fix that, something fierce. Throwing a pipe bomb. Pretty freaking useless. So it's 18 miles off to the right there. It's gonna kill like two horde. That's okay, and I think we had somebody lag out right here. So we're going to wait for Uno Momento. Why would they come back in? He should be in shortly. It didn't take him very long ago. Reloading. Anytime. Interesting fact, you can get up on that bridge as infected. It's way the frick up there. But you can get a hunter up there, or a jockey up there, or a boomer up there. And you can drop him off there. <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of funny to watch a boomer drop a quarter mile to uh, hit the survivors. It makes a really funny noise too. If you've never seen it done before, I suggest you check it out, or maybe I'll make a video of it, I don't know, it's hilarious. And again, with this crappy geometry, I don't trust any of it, so I'm just trying to jump as best I can. Adrenaline up on uh, Horde there, very nice. I was going to go grab a gun, while we all push up to this slow motion point. Right about yonder. Matrix style. Yeah, look at the shells come out of the gun. And that realistic recoil, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> what, a, what a funny little uh, use of Valve's good little slow motion stuff there. I mean, that's that was kind of that's kind of cool effect, I think. It makes weird attacks right there, too. Some crazy stuff can happen. But yeah, pushing through this, I'm surprised we haven't caught an attack. What was that? I'm surprised we haven't caught an attack yet. 
don't know what that lag spike was there. It was kind of crazy. There goes the charger and probably going to be a hunter from behind. There he is. Able to clean that up with dual AK-47 fire. Making it all the way to the safe room. Come on, get in here. There we go. No troubles at all there. This map can be filled with rage. I mean, this there's so many opportunities for stuff to happen to a team that is irreversible. Death charges, death pulls, death jockeys. I mean, there's all kinds of stupid crap that can happen. And it's it's uh, it's good for a team to make it all the way to the safe room. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is good. But sometimes, like if we were playing a pub team and we made it all the way to the safe room, and then say we death charge one right here, there is a high chance that the rest of the team will just leave. Because it is just so crazy difficult to get through this map. And that being said, I do get a nice quad boom right there. I'm going to slow him down for that much longer. I can't make it up the ladder with Horde coming in. I'm going to allow us, hopefully, to get a Charger Smoker combination in. Which is what I was, you know, fingers crossed, what I was hoping for. Who knows if it'll actually happen, though. Jockey is sitting there waiting, grabbing the first one and dropping him back by on the hole. That's not what he meant to do. He meant to drag him off the side. There is the charger. Might yet be able to get a spawn and get a death charge. If we can get a smoker in, gonna be a spitter. So we're gonna have to save for the upper part of this platform, perhaps by the witch. Uh, it may be our only option. There may be an opportunity for a death charge right here. But seeing as how these people play, might not happen. Jester does call that charge and dodges it correctly. I may have given that away with this spitter. Just maybe. I'm able to get a good amount of damage though with it. So that's, I guess that's a plus, even if I did give away that charge. There goes the boomer, only hitting one. How odd. It looked like he spewed all over both of them. And then getting punted off the edge, he does live. Gonna be able to despawn that rather nicely. You can get on top of these little support trusses on the top of the bridge here, as infected. So I know you can get all over this freaking map. We have a jockey and a boomer in. We're going to set off that car alarm and boom the person who falls off the edge. I'm going to wait for them to... No, I guess maybe not. I thought he... F oh, he falls up here again. That's right. I'm going to wait for them to try and get him up here a second time. Before I pounce to keep him down. Wait for another spawn to get in. There's the pounce. Gonna slow him down for that much longer. Man, that's a long ways down. Going to give us time for another spawn, hopefully. On a death spot. Who knows, though. That hole right there can be a problem. There's a lot of cars there, a lot of obstacles, weird geometries that are right there. I use the word geometries because it's not always skinned, you know. There's not always a visual reference of where the actual model is. So geometries, I feel like, is a more accurate description. I'm going to try for a jockey charge combination here through this little gap. It is a small gap and it has to be lined up correctly. It requires a good charge and a good setup from the jockey. There it is. Able to set him up. Hopefully that charge went. Yes he did. Looks like he got the death charge. I hope. Yes he did. Beautiful, beautiful death charge. Uh, my setup probably could have been better. I did die pretty damn quick but that charger reacted appropriately and got in there in time to take advantage of that thankfully. Very strong attack, the uh, jockey charge combination. It is a little bit fragile though when it comes to being cleared. But uh, you know, you gotta take those risks. Moving up to this next spot, uh, with only three people at a drop point, we drop one of them and they've only got a half team up. So it's, it's a very big problem for them. Gonna get a smoker over here. Maybe saving this unless they can get something happening there. No, it's not going to happen. As the only movement class, I need to save this. Simply because I feel like going now would be a waste. There's no uh, tri cap up. There's nothing that's going to be useful for me to attack with. Up. Moving through, just waiting for him to drop. I'm trying to find the spot where you can pull off of that mass from that boat. But I can't seem to find it. Thankfully though, I do have some good teammates on my team who can help me out with that.
there next to the bouncing jockey. That is the pull spot from the mask that works really well. <laughs> it's so far going down to the spit on the ladder. Oh, spits on ladders are so broken. Dropping a charger and a jockey down there at the same time. Mike, yes, there's the death charge. Beautiful, beautiful charge. He's not going to die, though. It's simply going to down him down there, which is, I guess, the bouncing feature of this map. I'm trying for a pour here. Something tricky, but he does spot me and promptly starts pumping ammo at me. I would think that they would hunt me right here. If I were down there, I would definitely hunt this smoker. Because of the fact that it's such a big threat on this little crawl. Maybe they just forget about it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they're gonna go down right here. I'm gonna wait for the last one. Waiting for my opportunity, not gonna rush us. There we go. And there's the pole. It's such a hilarious pole because she is so far above the ground. And that's gonna be game right there. Able to get a hunter on the last guy. That uh, mask can be such a problem. It's such a huge obstacle. And I'm glad it's in the map, don't get me wrong. I feel like it could be a little bit shorter though. But, uh, what can you do? Right? What can you do? A fun map feature that everybody has to play with. Yeah, so 400 points. Thanks, still not over yet. Anybody's game at this point still. I don't know, the next round is kind of the make it or break it. The last round now. This safe room has just about everything. I wish they had laid it out differently though. It is. Ah. Man, I love complaining about this map, but no, it's... What what the fuck is the point? Why the hell have two separate rooms like that? It, it just doesn't make any goddamn sense, but I didn't design the map. It's not my map layout, and it's he can do whatever he wants, I guess. He can lay the map out however he wants to, add in whatever features he likes. Everybody has to be in this room to trigger the event, though. So, yeah. I have seen, if you trigger this event, there can be spawns in the other room while you were triggering the event. Yeah. Bad coding, maybe? I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just bad definition of a safe area. Who knows? All I know is I do not want spawns behind me when this starts because of the fact that spitters can really freaking suck. Uh, you're standing still, you can't move. <laughs> so, yeah. Can be problematic. Now, looking for the point where you can scoot out of the doorway enough to where you can start it. Mm, there it is. Blocking spawns as much as we can. And, uh, truly epic voice acting there. I could probably do a better job right now. I'm not going to, because I don't feel like it. Just quit pressuring me. I'm not going to show you better voice acting. Yeah. Terrible voice acting. I, I like the animation. It was kind of cool. But the voice acting, eh. Bleh. I kind of added it in after the fact. Pushing through here and uh, pretty much melting that first attack. Aside from the Hunter Spitter combo, which isn't going to do too terribly much. Going to catch the full force of this horde though. Lots and lots of horde that comes out of this area for some reason. Um, bio rushing this area is always an option if you push up the tank with it. Not that the horde disappears, but uh, there's just so freaking much of it that it's best to deal with it all at once as opposed to letting it trickle in, which is, I've said it before and I'll say it again, a trickling horde is more annoying than large amounts of horde that comes all at once. But yeah, there's the bile. Here's the rush. Bile rush. Should be ready for another attack. There's the boomer. I'm gonna call all that horde that we just packed up on the bile back on. It's getting charged all the way back into this little bush here. Frickin' shrubbery in this map is everywhere. I know there's a hunter in there. I don't know where. So I have to just melee spam until and hope for the best, I guess. Able to clean it up. Thanks to Hollywood, though. Should be able to move up now. That pipe bomb did clean up a lot of the horses chasing. I'm pretty sure we're here to drop. There's nothing that's gonna slow us down. There's a smoker back there, actually. Ooh, Hollywood almost dropping before that smoker gets cleared. Very, very good for us. That, that did not happen. Debating whether or not to heal. I guess I can burn a medkit. I mean, we're sitting on good health with two extras here. Might as well. 
the uh, tank music starts right here. I'm not so sure the tank is on the map right here, though. I think it just starts tank music. The tank doesn't spawn until you drop past this second little waterfall into this lower area here. Ooh, walking backwards into the spit. Herpader. There's the tank spawn. Or maybe just change hands, I don't know. But yeah, getting hit by a rock right away, maybe from the AI tank yet. Um, Hollywood did rush up there for a light. A very risky situation to be in. But sometimes you have to take these risks in order to get the best rewards. He did not manage to light that tank though. That's going to force us to just sit down here and chip away at it, which is going to draw out this tank battle, something fierce. There is an AK in the water here, and an ammo pile in the boat. Very useful. <sighs> Yanni. <sighs> Still rocking. It hasn't hit one of us yet. He seems to be aiming at me for the most part. I'm not sure why. Maybe just because I'm moving and the rest of the team is just sitting still. I'm the only target he sees. There comes a the spitter. Paying attention to my rocks even while the spit is going. Trying to clear that spitter and pay attention to rocks. Hunter from behind and getting boom. Need to watch that rock. Thankfully it misses. Gonna catch a lot of horde now. Switching over that melee weapon. Ah, oh, fucking mud man. They need to be taken out of this campaign. They need to be taken out of this campaign. They're just a fucking nuisance. That rock isn't probably one to hit me, but it's good to uh, move. You never know with those rocks. They have weird ass collision physics to them. They, I, don't, I can't even tell you how to avoid those rocks the best way because you might as well just shoot them when they're coming at you. Looking out for that attack that's going to come in here. Not seeing anything yet. Tank is still perfectly fine with just rocking from back there. He has line of sight, I imagine. Because he hasn't lost control yet. Maybe we should just rush the tank. I mean, there's not many options we can that we have right here. I mean, we could just clean up an attack and push the tank. Which could work, except for the fact that he's up on a freaking cliff. That if he punts one of us off, it's going to down us. It probably won't kill us. Uh, because I don't think the map is defined like that. I think it'll just down us from the uh, height. There comes the tank in from the back. Almost taking a rock there. And there he's chasing backwards. He is AI. Taking a lot of damage there. He goes down right there. AI tanks are very, very easy to deal with. Uh, fun fact, tanks that get lit in this area do stay lit. That water is not considered water for some fucked up reason. Don't ask me. I didn't design the map. Uh, same goes for the tank at the second map that has the rock. That tank will also stay lit in certain circumstances. Some, I think there are a few little puddles here and there that it can put itself out in, but I'm not sure of that. Pushing up to this little cliff here, getting, taking a boom. We have fire yet, so we can probably just burn our feet. There's the feet burn right there, I'm getting smoked backwards. While everybody else is boom, I'm trying to tell them where I'm at best I can. There we go, I'm getting cleared rather quickly actually. And now just cutting through this never ending horde. Uh, this is a seriously large horde. And it's trickling. Which, like I've said, <laughs> fucking annoying horde. Moving it up. Saturn does go down. I don't even know how the hell he got up there. I didn't see him run up there. But uh, he is going to die. I'm going to try and clean up this charger, but there's just so much horde. So much horde. There goes the jockey. I'm able to clear the charger, but I'm not going to be able to clear that jockey in time. So, so very much horde. Spitter is scratching away at me, taking so much health. I probably took 20 health from that spitter. 
Now I'm gonna just gonna rush for points. I don't know where to run for the most points in this area. So I'm just aimlessly running around. Fucking mud men. Oh my god, they're so annoying. With their little running along the ground like little demented grudge children. And then Jack is gonna tell me. Yeah. <laughs> a good run. Yeah, definitely a good run. In a map that is very difficult to run because of the way the horde is set up. Very, very good run. I think that might actually be game. I'm trying to go out the wrong door there. Herp a derp. You are stuck in that safe room because you can't walk through the door until they start that event, unless you manage to E out, which is exactly what I did. Just spam that E button until you get outside. Once you get outside, I don't think you can go back inside with the E button, but maybe you can, maybe you can. I don't know. I just spam the crap out of it until I get outside. Yeah, that's hilarious. But, uh, yeah, here we go. There's a little house here that... I don't... Does anybody go in this house? Or house, this little storage facility, this fucking big square building that's placed pointlessly in the middle of the forest with no roads to it? I don't think anybody does. I do not think anybody does. Probably shouldn't be crouching. There we go. Yeah, because you can hear that. There's well, the charge. Probably gonna get melted. Yeah, there he goes. Able to get a damage pounce? Not quite. I don't know how I missed that. That was weird. There is a lot of side room on this map. A lot of uh, area to hide in. A lot of brush, shrubbery to run away in. I'm gonna look for another crazy damage pounce. Along this weird cliff here that has no reason to do here aside from letting you do damage pounces. Just gonna miss him? Yeah. I don't know, did it look like I landed that to you? Because it looked like it to me. And then uh, getting on Joe Bar somehow. Huh. It must have been melee fatigue. Yeah, they were able to get through that area without too much trouble. Smoker's gonna be pulling back, but he's right in the line of sight. Not gonna be a huge issue. Uh, looking for the charge forward here. If you scatter one or two or three, you can kill them if they drop off there. I don't know why you can kill them right there if you scatter them. It must be that far enough of a drop. What I do know is that it can be very, very good. Again, this terrain, this, this geometry is very bad. It's trying to set up the charge there. It scatters, but it doesn't scatter like it should have. I mean, that should have launched a couple people off that edge easily. I'm uh, running into that chainsaw. Yeah. Chainsaws hurt. They, uh, they hurt if you run into them face first like I just did. Word to the wise, don't run into chainsaws face first. Uh, the Horde did get that damage pounce to down Jester there. There's gonna be a spit going down on top of that too, but again, I don't... The tank doesn't spawn yet. This tank is, music is wrong. And it's... Kind of obnoxious, actually. Don't, uh, if you ever design a map, don't do that. Don't put in fucking tank music when there is no tank on the map. That's just stupid. I mean, come on, seriously. There's the tank now, he's AI up there. Alright, Hollywood got him. Probably gonna be rocking, much like they did. Because it is a strong tactic. Gonna rush in with this charger, go for a scratch, and I'm not gonna get that charge. I should have led that a little bit more. To be entirely honest, I should have expected that. There's the fire. He's not going to be able to put himself out. Because, like I said, this water doesn't count as water. It is some sort of flowing fluid that does not put fire out. Perhaps a lake stream of gasoline. Who knows? Gasoline would burn, though, if it got lit on fire. Hmm. What is a fluid that does not put fire out, but yet does not burn? I don't know. Regardless, Tank is doing a great job of rocking and hitting in combination, especially when lit. Good tanking. Gonna try and keep this guy down for a little bit longer. Uh, it might have been too late to actually do that. Still gonna get quite a few dings where the damage charge is just barely missing that death charge, but it's going to allow that smoke to go off unopposed up here. I mean, there's nothing to clear this guy. It's probably gonna go down. Oh, not quite gonna go down. 
very close, so it does a lot of damage. Hmm. There he goes down right there. Getting this boomer in a spot that I have no idea where I'm at, so I'm trying to E over to him, but... Uh, broken map, so it's uh, difficult to get close. Looking for that crazy close spawn, it's not going to happen. Shrubbery does not block line of sight for spawns. This hill is not quite steep enough to allow you to spawn underneath it. Yeah. Considering my options, there's no crawls on the walls here. I can't get up to the side of them. There's no... Uh, there probably is a crawl somewhere. I just need to find it. I don't know where it's at. There it is, one over there to the right. Might I be able to get a rocket boom? I think it would be rather risky because of the... 45 degree angle of this cliff here. Sadberry is staying back a little bit. Probably getting hit by Horde. I don't think this is choice. There's the stupid spawn. I would hope that I would hit one. There you go. Yeah, I pretty much failed with that boomer miserably. Uh, had I known where my crawls were and how to get up top to the ledges, I could have made that a lot better. But I just. I don't know how to get up there. I don't know how to get up to the right side or the left side, even though I, I did see the crawl there to the left of me. But I uh, didn't use that because. Uh, it's a new map. Come on, guys. Be nice to me. I don't know where all the crawls are yet. You have to learn this stuff, especially when it's such a... can fail geometry map, where it's just there's shit everywhere randomly. Ledges are wrong. Cliffs are wrong. It's just... Bleh. It'll get better, I hope. I hope. Because it can be... It seems like it can be a good map. For sure. Uh, they are pushing up to this event, slowly cutting a path through their horde. Probably should be trying to make that a little bit more difficult. There's nothing really to spit here. So, uh... And it didn't even spread anyway. It just kind of... Puddled up down there. Yeah. Not gonna do a lot. Getting a few scratches at least. I'm getting a nice smoke there on Rochelle, but I don't think it's gonna do much damage. No, not at all. It is crazy impossible to get up to this helicopter with the tank on the map. Especially if the tank knows where the helicopter's at. If he moves straight to that ladder, he can just hit people off the ladder or rock the person that's on the top. I mean, you get hit by a rock up there, that kind of sucks. There's the hit. Not gonna get up that ladder. Tank did get lit, I think. <laughs> Tank's gonna climb up to the chopper and haymaker people down. There's the rock, stopping him from crawling up. You can't shoot while you're on the ladder. So it's, uh... You might be a little bit safe on the top of the ladder, but that's... Very difficult to get up with a team. So yeah, there is my cold stream game. Uh, two very, very good teams. Uh, just kind of messing around on a new map. Not really, uh... Much else to say about it, I guess. It was it was a good game. It was a fun game to play, that's for sure, because everybody was in vent. We were all laughing at stupid crap that was happening, especially the fact that the tank was in this helicopter here. So, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.